<laughs> bye bye. Hey guys, this is a day in the life video. This is basically a end of the year, end of school year vlog about my boys, you know, and their things they got going on at the end of the year. Cubby had a uh, superintendent a cat, a, a academics award. I didn't film that. Completely forgot to pick the camera up, but I'll post a picture, you know, from that day. Today he got a ceremony for the beta club. It's at one o'clock. Right now it's 7:34. I got them in the car if y'all can even see. Faces back there. I'm not sure if I'm if I can go. I'm assuming I can, but I'll be there, you know, at one if they don't let me in, then I just can't go. But I'm gonna include that footage in this vlog. And then I'm gonna include Mason's pre-K graduation. That's next week. So this is gonna be like, you know, different days on this vlog, but it's the end of the year. I don't know if everybody does this around the USA, but I'm not sure what grade it starts, but I know the last grade is the eighth grade when they stopped taking this end of grade testing for math and reading. I know eighth grade is the last year they do it because you know, ninth grade is high school. And when, once you hit high school, you do things differently there. So. You don't do integrate testing. You do like exams and stuff for each class you take. Yeah, that's today's vlog. It's the end of the year. <laughs> Get ready to drop Mason off. I walks in the class. if y'all saw that guy I didn't really want to put him on there's this guy there's like a drop off right there y'all probably see me do it in a past video a little part of the school where you pick up the kid and drop them off when they're a car rider or whatever I drops Mason off there in the mornings normally and there's this guy that comes up to me or comes comes up to all the parents with a little notebook with this piece of paper pretty much that we have to sign you know to sign our kid in or whatever this guy never greets me like he don't say good morning you know anything like that he don't even greet mason it'd be him out there with the paper giving it to the people i'm not he's the first person that everyone sees and then there's like maybe one or two other people behind him that takes the kids to the class while you know the parents sign them in Okay, everybody else be saying, um, I'm sitting on my glasses. I'm surprised I didn't break them. <laughs> so they be saying good morning to me. They be saying good morning to Mason and everything. Like, like you should be doing like, you're at, you're at a job, you know what I'm saying? And it's like common sense to greet the parents. Like, he don't say nothing, y'all. It's so awkward. Because I said it a couple times and he don't say anything. Cause I okay if he's not gonna say I guess I'm supposed to say it and I say it maybe once or twice out of this whole school year and he hasn't said anything to me. Sometimes he'll he'll come up to me and I'll say nothing and he'll say something to someone behind me. Like, hey, how you doing? Ain't said nothing to me yet. Is is he racist? And the bad part about it is he's related to Jonathan. He knows that Mason is his family, like he knows I'm Jonathan's wife and everything. Because Jonathan, when I was working at Amazon, Jonathan had to take Mason to school on Friday mornings. And, um, he, you know, he would see the guy. Because he's only there in the mornings. And then one time I had Jonathan's mother, my my mother-in-law, uh, take Kobe, I'm not Kobe, Mason to school one time too. But when I finally came back one time, that's when he told me, like, that, we, that um, Mason was like his cousin or something like that. This is on Jonathan's daddy's side of the family, though. He don't really know too many people on that side, but they're like cousins. Like, I don't know if it's first, second, third. I don't know, but like, what? That's even more of a reason for you to speak. <laughs> School is going to be out next week. The last day is June the 7th. 
This has been going on since September of last year when he started school. And I just stopped going. Because you can go to the drop-off in the mornings and drop your kid out, like sign them in and have them take the kids to the classroom. Or you can park and uh, walk your kids to the classroom if you want to. So this the last week or two. I've been walking Mason to his classroom. Like, I just got pretty much fed up with it. That one day, I was running late. Because at 8 o'clock, they be gone. They don't even be out there anymore. No so, because that's, that's when they're supposed to be in class. It's 8 o'clock. So, I got there at 8 o'clock one day. And I was walking Mason to his classroom. And the guy just... I don't know what it was. He just did it once again. He walked right by me and Mason and said, Hey, to some, whoever it was behind me, like... The parent and the kid that was behind me. Like, he pretty much just skips me. Now that I have a problem, like, if I would have seen him, like, at, you know, in public somewhere else where he's not on the clock. Like, we was, he was shopping at Walmart, and I was shopping at Walmart, and he didn't speak. I wouldn't care. But it's the fact that you on the clock, you supposed to be doing stuff like that. I don't know. I just had a problem, y'all. I just had, a, I had an issue with that. Now, I only have an issue with that, Nick. Until I get out the parking lot. Now, when I leave that parking lot, that school parking lot, after I drop Mason off and all that, I'm cool. Like, I'm cool. Until I come back the next morning. Because, I, cause like I said, he's not there in the afternoons when I pick Mason up. He's not there, thankfully. But he's there in the morning times. So, every morning when we pull up in the school, and I when I used to drop Mason off in the mornings, it's like, I instantly see red. Not red, but I don't be that mad, y'all. But I be like, oh, God, I got to see him this morning. Like, a simple good morning or whatever, you know, it goes a long way. Like, it makes someone's day. Like, you're not saying anything. Like, I just want to throw that in there, you know. Y'all don't know if y'all seen him. I wasn't really trying to put him on here. I just wanted y'all to see there was a guy there. I don't want to say he's racist because that's what my sister-in-law was saying. She don't think he's racist either because of what she does know of him that you know they have you know mixed people in their family like black people white people you know all the types of races in their family as we do which i don't think he's racist but i mean he's coming off like it i'm just i'm, I'm just glad because this, this is mason's first and last year at this school he i ain't gotta worry about seeing him you know after next week i just hope i don't run into another person like him because this this guy is way older than me. Like you should know better. You supposed to speak to people, honey. Okay. All right, I need some chapstick. Woo. Okay. Oh, I so it's twelve thirty seven. I was trying to leave at twelve thirty, so I'm a little late. The ceremony doesn't start until one o'clock. I'm going to Kobe's Beta Club ceremony. Starts at one. Um, I'm 10 minutes away, so I want to be there early. I want to be there right time, you know, it starts or whatever. So, this is my fit, it's nothing, nothing special. This is a little dress here. I'm wearing some black, um, some black flip flops. <laughs> I don't have heels, I don't really have anything nice to wear like that. So, this is this is what I'm this is what I'm working with. My hair is in a you know, a little bun. I'm just gonna go with that. I was gonna put on some makeup, but I didn't. I just threw on my shade, threw on my glasses. So let me go ahead and go before I end up being late. So um, the whole time the boys been in school, um, you know, from the time I dropped them off up until now, I've just been on my computer the whole time. I've been doing some budgeting with my money because today is payday. Well, my husband gets paid today, and I, you know, I'm the one that like splits the money into bills and things we need and stuff like that but anyway um i was doing that and um looking for stuff online like i have an anniversary coming up so i had a look i was looking for a gift for jonathan and i want to get mason's teacher a gift she's such a good teacher you guys such a good teacher to him and i really want to get her something um especially dealing with him having autism and stuff like that so I was doing all that. I'm not even done yet, like what I was doing. I was also doing some YouTube stuff too. I did get a phone call from Cubby's school. I have an aunt that works at his school and she called me to let me know that Cubby had a headache. And if I could bring him something for his headache. So I had to leave home and drive up there and give him something. And I sat there and talked to him and her for a little bit. And here I am going back up there again. It was like around about 10 o'clock, about 10, two hours ago when I did that. 
But I'm only 10 minutes away from the school, so it's not, you know, it's nothing, you know. He has a sinus headache, so hopefully it's gone. If not, I plan on taking him home with me. Because as soon as I leave this ceremony, I'm assuming it'll be about 30 minutes to an hour. I'm, I'm assuming about 30 minutes. Uh, whatever, whichever one. Whenever I leave this ceremony, I'm going to go and pick Mason up from school. Or I'm not going to pick him up, but I'm going to, you know, get in a, go in the parking lot. And I'll probably be sitting there for like 30 minutes or so waiting on him to get out of school. Because it wouldn't make sense to go all the way back home. So right now, they're not really doing nothing at school because they already took the integrate testing or whatever. Because when I went earlier to give him, you know, something for his headache, they weren't doing nothing but watching movies in the classroom. So. But let me go ahead and get to this ceremony because it is 12. I'm pressed for time, honey. I'm pressed. All right, so I'm here. I'm not gonna film too much of the inside of his school. So let me go ahead and go in here. I probably only want his dress to up too. Okay. So they had a sign at the front to go to the auditorium. So that's where I'm headed. I've got five minutes before they start. I feel like I'm overdressed. I could just wear what I had on. All these baby kids. <laughs> God, I hope this is the um, auditorium.
Let's give our new inductees a hand. Um, I'm here to do closing remarks. Uh, Basically, what I want you to do, I need you to turn and give your parents and guardians a round of applause. And the reason why I had them to celebrate you because it's because of you pouring into them is the reason why they're sitting over here. It, it takes a village, it really does. So I appreciate your love and support. You, you guys have joined a club of over 500,000? 500,000 young men and women from across not only the United States, but across the world. It's not me that can say that they've done this. It's just my eighth grade sitting to my left. These are some heavy hitters over here. Teacher lawyers, doctors, scholars, teachers. Um, these young men and women are going to help shape the world. So those of you that are sitting over here, I hope you're paying attention to them because they set a great model and mold for you guys to strive and live up to. But these, these kids, this, is what, this wasn't given to them. They earned every bit of this. They earned it. They earned it. So once again, I'm not going to hold you. So yeah, give them a run. We need to be together. Parents, I thank you. I appreciate you. I love you. I support you. I salute you. Um, but in about seven days, y'all yours. <laughs> Let's see what you got. Not that, I'm gonna see this. I'm gonna show y'all a picture of that. Go just pop this out. Huh? Go just pop this out. So we have it. Um, yeah. yeah. You gotta do it right now, though. I'm gonna take a picture. It starts, it starts, it, it kind of hurts, but it's not a big deal. Okay. Well, you going home anyway, so. Cause okay, I ain't about to buy from first. Yeah. I mean, you still sign me out, but I think you use the bathroom. You saw, you can still sign me out, though. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, here's the key. Oh, yeah. I need that. Ooh, the lighting. Hey, when you come out, is the bathroom in there? Yeah, when you come out, we're going to take a picture in here. <laughs> okay. Let me all that. Okay, I'm going to take more pictures when you come out, because I ain't like the pictures in that auditorium. It was dark. That's his mascot. I used to go to this school. But they didn't have a sixth grade. They only had a seventh and eighth grade here. That's the gym. And that's where we came from, the auditorium. He's in there using the bathroom. Is that band back there? I ain't been here since. Oh, it's Cody's age. <laughs> I'm about to go take some pictures. Biking pride. I haven't walked these hallways and breezeways since I was your age. It's weird when you're grown, yeah, looks bit. smaller. Uh, Going in here to sign them out. Uh, you're supposed to open the door for your mother. Yeah, that's important. Yeah, you're, to, you're supposed to hold it and go behind it, though. <laughs> Gotta try them. And it's your aunt's, auntie's office. Yeah. I'm getting up out of here. Oh, good three. Okay, I'm about to sign. Oh, now we gotta go get Mason. Gonna have to sit there for a good 30 minutes or so, though. I didn't get your phone, so you might be a little bird. Uh, where's your booze at? You got your booze? No. You gotta go get that sucker. I'll be up here at the front. Some good lighting out here, nature. Yes. My boy's on the beta club. National beta club. This certifies that Kobe Turner of Blank High uh, Junior High School has been elected to membership because of outstanding character and achievement. May 23rd, 2020. All right, so 2.23 and I now have Mason in the car. I didn't even know they let him out this early. I thought he gets out at 2.30. We got it at 220. And yeah, I got my Kobe here and we're going home. So the next time y'all see me will be at Mason's graduation. Day two. So today's the day before Mason's pre-K graduation. He got like a lot of stuff in his book bag. 
and I just glanced in there and seen something graduation related so I decided to pick the camera up see what's going on so oh wow I can just imagine what it is so this is Mason's it, it don't this here was like in a little folder or whatever normally but now it's in a brown envelope so I can't imagine what's in there <laughs> for all his little drawings oh here it is never mind this is exactly what I was talking about it's two different things so this is what he normally brings on every day so this is see same thing well it's, this is portfolio so I don't know I don't know but this is what I was talking about I thought this was the same thing but it's something different I don't know I think it's some of his drawings or something in there but this is like a regular oh they don't have that little sheet in here that tells me if he like took a nap or you know oh this is little things you know they had on the like wall and stuff if you're a teacher you know you know you know or you know you've been in school <laughs> you know what i'm talking about been like on the wall mason chill oh what is that mason what is this flower 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 plus some more stuff he drew some more artwork and things that's just in his regular like school thing but I can keep this though because it has like a, a keep at home side and a return to school side. But that's not what I saw. This is what I saw. It's a big basket of something. It's a big old basket. Oh boy. Okay, that's it. So you got this big old giant basket right here. This is what I saw when I first opened his book bag. It says, Congrats, Grad. I don't know what's here. It must be candy or something, probably. Yeah, it's just some candy in here. It's just some candy that he's probably not going to eat. Oh, he graduates tomorrow. They did rehearsal today. He got some cotton candy. I might be eating that because I don't think he eats that. Oh, shoot. I can't eat it. I, this is so tempting. I love cotton candy. I can't even eat it. I'm doing a 30 day challenge. And got some chips. He got some crayons or something, markers. Got the juice. Got some goofy string. A bunch of Dollar Tree stuff looks like. I know y'all can tell he's working Dollar Tree. Um, your future is so bright, you're gonna need shades. I don't like it. He has a pink there, but it's cool. And got some um, a glow ball. This came from Dollar Tree. All this stuff came from Dollar Tree. I don't care, it's fine. I just thought that counts. Got some bubbles. Mason loves bubbles. Got a, a beach ball. Oh, oh look at this y'all oh, and that's so cute oh that's his pre-k picture and on the back oh that is super cute like something you can hang on a um christmas tree which we don't even have anymore <laughs> they got this here i guess to practice his uh letters and stuff in but that's all that's in that basket i just wanted to cut the camera on and show y'all that <sighs> my baby will be graduating pre-k tomorrow i'll see y'all then the next so it is currently june the 4th and today is mason's pre-k graduation it is 8 20. i just got home from dropping um both kobe and mason off at school mason's pre-k graduation is at 10 o'clock so i have like an hour before i have to leave i want to get there early that way i can get a good seat so i can film it because this is the first child that i have that is graduating at all like Cubby never had a pre-k pre-k graduation so this is my first experience seeing my son or a kid of mine in a cap and gown so i'm really really excited to see him but yeah i'm dressed in blue but pretty much the same shirt i had on at the baby shower <laughs> i'm wearing that it's only blue i got um because his cap and gown is blue um yeah so next time you see or in the next clip it will be of mason's graduation oh how stinking cute they're at the thing you waiting on us
moments later God, it's like 11 30 and it just ended so they were letting um the kids you know get released early or whatever but i'm not gonna get mason because it's the last week of school and i'm gonna have him all week i mean all summer so i'm just leave him here um another three hours and i'll go pick him up later and i'm gonna go to dollar tree and get him a balloon a little blue star because they're called a it's, this school is called a shining stars so i'm gonna go to dollar tree and get him like a blue i think they have blue stars and get him that for when he comes home. Um, probably gonna take some pictures. I'll post all that when he gets out of school and everything. Three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. Dazzle. Look, 2024. He got this. Congratulations, Shining Stars Preschool. He's got his picture. Yay. And he got his little certificate. Or diploma, I should say. His diploma. Mm. Don't we look like twins? Twins! So that's Mason. Here's Kobe. So he got this one here, and then he got like a bunch of blue ones. It says ELA Enthusiastic 
learner. So we was having issues with that last year, but sounds like he passed. It says highest math ELG score. And this one says he went to extra mile in math class. He went to extra mile, got that certificate for that. And then this was just a regular certificate for math. Demonstrated academic achievement in math class. We won't worry about math, honey. He lives in some math. Oh, uh, here's another one too. He got a mad scientist award for achieving the highest average in science class. So, he's a smarty pants. All right, you guys. So that pretty much wraps up this video. That was the end of Mason's pre-K graduation. The end of school year vlog. I hope you guys enjoy it. You guys almost cried almost cried and i'll talk to y'all for the very next video